I'm too lazy. I don't feel like going anywhere. I don't want to walk. I don't want to do anything. I'm just sipping on my coffee, sitting in the desert. We settle ourselves, put our outside chairs on and sunbathing, but it's getting really hot. And we're just hanging out. So a couple hours go by. By the third hour, somebody shows up, a truck drives by. Somebody's kind of lost actually. <laughs> and they and they drive by us and is asking us for a direction. So here we are. Here's our angel. So we share with them what they need to do and we tell them, look, we're out of our batteries are dead. We need to jump. So it was a friendly person. They help us and they jump. We get a jump. We get the engines going. So the RV is back on business. And we tell the person that, okay, we're going to leave and they can follow us and we'll show them the way out of this area. So it worked perfectly. So what I'm saying is that when you're in a situation like this, for some people, it's a very, you know, they may panic because it's life threatening. You're in the middle of the desert. The temperature is high. You know, it started at from 25, 26 degrees. And by that time it was up to 35. So most people will panic. They think they're going to vanish or something is going to happen to them. And, but you kind of relax into this moment and you don't react, you don't freak out and you're trusting and existence provides out of, uh, out of a sudden, out of nowhere, somebody shows up in the middle of nowhere, somebody shows up and gives you a jump and gets your engines running again and you get to drive out. If you pay attention to your life, if you just calm down, back, back up and look or purposely go put yourself in situations that you are in, let's say desperation, you Purposely, you're going to put yourself in a dangerous situation, consciously. You're going to put yourself in a situation that you need help. Let's say you're hitchhiking, or you drive in the middle of nowhere, or you're creating a situation consciously. You're going to put yourself in the middle of nowhere and you create a situation that you need to be rescued and you just wait and you will see what happens. Well, that's one way. Another way is that if you pay attention to whether you backtrack your life and go back to these moments that you were in a desperate situation. If you look back and you see always in that moment, someone shows up, something happens and you're helped and you're out of it. You get rescued. Even now, you can try it next, this week, between this week and next week. Take a look at it. Check it out. See what happens. See when you need something, you need something, not that you want something. How that thing appears in your life. How somebody shows up in your life and delivers or the message comes or you get an email or you get an offer, something magically shows up and that's constant and that is for everybody on this planet. 
the invisible force, that force that has created this world and has created us, and we put it put us in here, is the same force that is in charge and responsible to take care of its own creation. That which has created you and I, that which has created this world, is responsible to take care of it. Did this sink? I'm going to repeat it one more time because I don't think it, it went through. That which has created this world, including you and I, is responsible to take care of itself, of us. Means you are not responsible to look after the world. You don't need to worry about the world. You don't need to worry about the wellness of this planet, of this creation. You don't need to sit down and worry about what is going to happen to this world. And what that's a lot of people do, constantly worrying about what's going to happen in the future. How are they going to survive? How is this planet going to survive? What is the future of this planet? It's not your responsibility, my friend. You don't need to worry about it. That which has created it will take care of it. You're just one of the components into this equation. You don't need to figure anything out. It takes care of itself. The mystery reveals itself and takes care of itself. And the mystery feeds everybody. Look at your life. Go back and take a look. Rewind the tape because you're very good at it. Because you go back to your past all the time. And you're checking things out all the time and you're living in your past most of the time. So why don't you, since you're used to doing it, why don't you put it on a good use? If you're going to rewind the tape and live in your past, why don't you look at the moments? See in your life if you're always been taken care of. If you made it to this point that we're sitting here in 2020 and we're able to see each other through Zoom or Instagram or Facebook or YouTube and see each other, communicate with each other, and you have come this far in time to this moment, means you have survived it. that you're living and you have a roof over your head, you have a house, you have an apartment. Obviously you have a device, a computer or a cell phone. So you're okay. And you're able to hear me talking. You're able to connect and receive the transmission of this energy and to send it to, to send your love, to transmit your love and your silence and to receive it. So if you've made it to this point, means you're okay. How did you make it to this point? No matter how old you are, how have you made it to this point?